Welcome to this HTML5 gaming tutorial. We're going to be using the CreateJS framework to create a rich, animated and interactive game for the HTML5 canvas element. The software requirements for this tutorial are first of all, a code editor. I happen to be using Dreamweaver. You can use any code editor that you like. The other piece of software that we will be using is Flash CS6. It's not strictly essential to complete the tutorial as we've already prepared the assets for you. However, if you want to create your own animations, it's probably the best software out there for creating animated content for use in games. And there's been a lot of hype around at the moment about HTML5 and Canvas. So before we explore exactly what we can do with those technologies, let's take a look at the game itself. So the game is a point and click game. And the idea is that we're going to be defending our eggs from this character here who's trying to take them away. So the idea is that to stop the pterodactyl, we've got to click on the pterodactyl, he'll drop the egg, and then we've got to move our character underneath it to collect the egg and drop those eggs back in the nest. And obviously if we miss, then there's going to be some breakages and we're going to lose. So that's what we're hopefully going to be doing. Well, before we get started with that game, let's have a look at exactly what Canvas is because it's important to understand what the Canvas element is before we start working with a framework. So let's switch over to Dreamweaver. And working in Dreamweaver, we can just have a quick look at what the Canvas element is. Well, as we can see in HTML5, it literally is one tag, Canvas. So really, when we're talking about the HTML5 Canvas element, we're not really talking about HTML at all we're talking about the way that we actually access that canvas element, and that's through JavaScript. So there is a JavaScript API that comes with it that enables you to work with the canvas element and draw to it. So the way that we do that is done quite simply here on the screen. We have a variable named canvas, and it gets that canvas element. We have to set up a 2D context to it in order to draw on it. Once we've got the 2D context, we then use that to create a path. And we have to move to the beginning of the path in order to work with it. So we have to say where we're we going to start from. So we start normally at 0, 0 pixels, which would be up here in the top left hand corner. So 100 pixels in would be kind of 100 pixels this way and 150 pixels down this way. So it's going to start about here. I'm going to create a line to 450 pixels across and 50 pixels from the top. We're going to have a 10 pixel thick line and it's going to be red. So let's see what that looks like in action. And there we have our line that's kind of going across the screen like this. Fairly standard stuff, a little bit like the drawing API in Flash if you've ever used that. Now that's okay for simple examples, but when things start to get a little bit more complicated, then so does the code. So here in this particular example, we can see we're drawing an outer circle, we're trying to draw a half circle here for a mouth, and two other circles here for eyes. So let's have a look at this one in action. As you can see, once we've got all of this code, we then run it and we can see we have a face. Now there are some other problems working with Canvas. For example, there's no display list. So if you're familiar with the concept of a display list, there isn't one natively in Canvas. As a result of that, you're painting with pixels. Once you've painted those pixels, they're stuck. You have to blank the Canvas in order to work with it. So if you want to do animation, it has to be blanked every frame as you move things. And when we're using our framework, CreateJS, it will actually be doing that, but it's all handled in the background and we never really have to worry about that. All we have to worry about is moving things around, which makes it much more fun for creating games. The other thing that's difficult as well is the mouse interaction. And the reason this is difficult is with JavaScript, you can only put mouse interaction on DOM elements. DOM is the document object model. So that's things in the document, such as a link tag, a paragraph tag, a div tag, now the canvas is all one tag, therefore it accepts one click. So to find out where you've clicked inside the canvas, you have to do some maths to work out the X and Y position. So obviously that creates a little bit of a problem. And that's really one of the reasons why Grant Skinner, who came up with the CreateJS framework, did so, because he wanted to be able to work with it in a much more intuitive manner. So Grant came up with the CreateJS framework, which originally started out as EaselJS, now easel, if you think about an easel, it props up a canvas. Therefore, it's a library that helps working with the canvas, makes it just that little bit easier to work with and manipulate. So once he created that, he created a tween library, a sound library, and a preloading library, which make it really easy for us to work with it. So packaged together, this is called CreateJS. And this is what we're going to be using to make our game. 